So we are back. We are back. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like it. What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new. And honey, I am back in the building. Listen, this time, honey, I am back to talk about that boy, A.L. Okay? I'm back to talk about A.L. Because now he is speculating, honey, that... It's going to be Melody's storyline to attack Nail and be like, yeah, you took a picture with Martell's mistress and, you know, that whole thing. So, A.L., in my opinion, is pulling a destiny. He making it look like the cast, i.e. Melody included, wants Ariane in the mix so they can keep having something to say about her. So that way, you know, she could be used as a storyline. But like I said before, the girl could never be used for a storyline because when you put yourself out there to be used, okay, to let somebody else's husband use you, the damage is already done. Okay, you need to be blaming Martell. Don't be blaming Melody, but that's what we... Witches do, okay, for lack of a better term, honey. Y'all know what I want to say. That's what they do. They always mad at the woman. Well, she's so mean and she did this and she using me and she making me her storyline. If you wasn't sleeping with her husband, you wouldn't be a storyline. <laughs> you could, you know, <laughs> you could go back to obscurity. You could go back to a life of private citizenship where nobody knows who you are. They don't know you. Okay? Nobody knows you. Everybody know you now because you was messing with that lady husband. They know you now off of what you did. So he begins asking um, if some lady named Janelle, was she the one that took the picture of Ariane and Miss Nail in their little handshake? Is that his um, PR, Martell's? Put it in the comments. Child, then he began reading somebody comment talking about the show will go on without Melody. I don't think so. I don't think they got a show without her. What y'all think? So one of his aunties get to asking why he's disappointed in Nail, and then she goes on a diatribe about how she always knew how Miss Nail was. So one of his aunties gets to saying she don't even think Ariane really cares about Nail or anybody else that's a part of the cast. This girl is obsessed with Melody. She is obsessed. Okay, so she would just love to get around the cast. She would love to take pictures with Tisha and Destiny. Okay, that way they could throw it up in Melody's face. Okay, she has showed that she is very much so invested in Melody and helping to destroy her, sleeping with her husband, and doing God knows what what with the revenge P, we'll say allegedly. But yeah, she called up Carson. What do you think I should do? And why would you ask another woman that? Because you have no values, no scruples, morals, decorum, ethics. You have none of that going for you. You don't care what happens to this woman. Women like Ariane feel like, I only can be somebody unless I tear somebody else and, you know, put somebody else down to build myself up. That is the mind of a coward. Okay? Well, Mark Tell, he the one that called me. And bitch, you are the one that's spreading your legs. Okay? She has always tried to make excuses for why her and Martell's lack of relationship, or lack, for lack of a better term, honey. She has always made excuses for Fula lying with Melody's husband. Okay, well, he the one that won't me, and I took her nigga with my eyes closed. That type of stuff, low self-esteem, low self-worth. I need this situation because it's it's now a part of my identity. It's a part of me feeling good about myself. Somebody chose me over their wife. They actually wanted me. Because guess what? If she was really filled up with self-worth and self-esteem, she would have been left Martell's ass alone. 
she wouldn't have never took up with him. Okay? Ain't no, yeah, we was just in love. No, y'all in lust. Y'all just screwing. And you had a baby. Okay? And this is a narcissist. His primary instinct is to control. As long as he's in proximity to a woman he can control, then he loves you and you are right with him. But when somebody tells him no, when somebody denies him of what he wants, when somebody puts up a boundary, a standard, all hell breaks loose. And he's willing to use you as a flying monkey to attack male. But yeah, everything he do with Arion is to piss off male. But male don't care about him no more. Child, one of the aunties get the saying they are using Ariane for a storyline. You can't be used. You put yourself out there to be used. You already compromise your values, your morals, if you ever had any, your sense of integrity, if you ever had that. You already did all of that. So you don't have no rights. You are fair game at this point. You are of low value. So why when, you know, like you don't have the right, you put yourself in this situation and you play into the situation by being photographed with Martell and you are allowing yourself to be photographed with him and going to events. That way you can change the narrative that you are ashamed that this man never wanted to marry you. He just used you, put a baby up in you. I guess you got rid of the other ones that y'all had and had this one because you thought you was really doing something. You really did. That boy being here was about getting back at Melody. It was about Martell getting back at Melody because she divorced him. That's what it's about. That's why when Martell and Melody finally broke up, y'all wasn't really together like that. He he didn't really need you no more. Okay? He didn't really need you no more. You come back out when he get mad with Mel, all this court stuff that he started. But that's, you know, that's a narcissist for you. A mess. Child, so one of the aunties get to talking about Nail only came out to do that video that way, you know, she could save face with Mel and Mel don't fire her. Mel is not Shawnee O'Neal. She ain't signing no checks. Child, one of the people get to saying if Melody is leaving the show, she shouldn't have any more say so on if Ariane will be on the show. She don't need to be on the show. Why would y'all want this woman to be on this show? The fact that Nail felt the need to make a video proves everything Dr. Heavenly and Funky Dineva was saying. They have nothing else to talk about. Allow Martell to show his real love life. There would have to be love there. Ain't no love there, you being used. You're used. He get her up off that bench when he need to prove something to somebody. She come out with her camera too when she want to prove something. You could just stop taking pictures with him. If you don't want any of this area, start participating, but you are no victim at all. Nail has Martell's phone number. She should have brought it. She shouldn't have brought it to the internet. She can bring it to the internet. Okay. Put that narcissist out there. Let people know what he is doing because they love doing shit in the dark. That way it don't come to light. And that way they can keep playing with people. Okay? So that's how narcissists are. They they love being a mystery. They love being in the background. You can even tell in the photo. He's in the background of the photo looking all innocent. No, nigga, you set this up. And I'm here for Nell coming out and speaking her truth. Child, it's the funniest thing ever. I believe Martell is not checking for his ex. He wants healthy dialogue, co-parenting, and a cohesive blending of family. No, he don't. If he wanted those things, why are they in court? And why do they have to keep coming back to court? Control. I want to control and abuse you. 
And a lot of women end up in this place with a man that they have a baby with. You could be married to that man. You go find out if he's a narcissist. And if he can co-parent with you and can wish you well, because a lot of them, they don't want you to move on. They don't want you getting dick from another man. They want to control you. They want to use you. They want to... uh not pay any child support and make your life a living hell. Okay? That's what they want to do. Why y'all think all these athletes, all these entertainers, they always trying to get out of child support. They don't want to do that. They don't want to look out for them kids. They want to make your life a living hell because you didn't decide to move on. Who are you, bitch, to move on? You need to stay in this burning house of a marriage, of a relationship. So, yeah, he don't want that. Child, a mess. People will say anything. A.L. says, honey, he needs the timeline of how everything happened with Miss Nell and Ariane and the picture. You want the recordings, huh, nigga? I'll, I'll say it for you. You want the recordings for quality and training purposes only. <laughs> Child, Miss Wanda has entered the chat and she get the paying homage to Kiki. Girl, you didn't bit more like Kiki. You are your dog, Latifa. Y'all did not care for Kiki, so y'all can miss me uh, with all this. My little niece, that was my cousin. Sometimes you can't call your cousin the way you would want to. Girl, you didn't want no parts of that woman when she was alive. Miss Wanda, you are reaching. You ain't even on the damn show no more. Who asked you, girl? Miss Wanda say she think Chris Fletcher told Neil to straighten all this out. And she says, a legend. It's allegedly, damn. Girl, summer school. Tisha, Marceau. Put y'all mother in summer school, child. A mess. Damn, child, one of the aunties, I forgot this lady name, I forgot it, I will, I will put it in the comments, but she get to saying, well, Ariana, she ain't no side chick no more, he love that lady, no, he don't, you all have a very distorted way of looking at things, people be trying to tell me that people love people, and guess what, they don't, they don't love you, a motherfucker will play with you for 10, 20 years if you let them, this is not love. This is lust and everybody trying to act like we don't see what we see. Down to the first floor, I see it. You can have on a Fendi suit. The shit that she had on, I know he don't care for her like that because it wasn't even um, synonymous with what he had on. He looking all clean and shit and she looking like she didn't went to Easter service and ain't been to Sunday service, honey, in a month of Sundays. She looked a hot raccoon mess. Ricky raccoon. Rick, 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 Ricky. Ricky raccoon. <laughs> there was a little da 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 <laughs> Y'all ain't hit the party, honey. Ricky raccoon. <laughs> I love that suck. I love Barney. Don't judge me, okay? You're never too old for Barney, honey. Them songs are catchy. <laughs> and finger snapping friendly, okay? Child, this lady says that he brought, Martell brought his woman to the light while men, uh, male got her men in the dark. Uh, it should be the other way around. He should be hiding her. Because with a face like that, I'm not trying to see it every day. She don't look friendly in the face, baby. Okay. Oh, her name Marcella. I remember her from the All About the Tea Days. Now, how many how many of y'all remember the All About the Tea Days when I was doing all that commentary? And that was something else. That was something that took off on its own and child, a mess. But those were the days, honey. Pleds and Monica and who else? It was a whole bunch of people. So Miss Wanda takes it upon herself to take all this this situation with Ariane and Nail and bring up the fact that Melody was Kiki's downfall. So basically blaming Melody for Kiki not being on the show, her demise, all of that. It's a mess, girl, a mess. Y'all sitting up here going hard for this woman, she gonna be your downfall. 
Okay, my niece, she saw all of what Melody was capable of and all the stuff that Melody do to people. A mess. Full of a mess.